You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. News that makes you healthier. Today's topic, the healing benefits of bone broth. With us, we have the author of The Bone Broth Secret, Heather Dane. Heather, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Now, you are a clinical nutritionist mm -hmm. with a fairly, I mean, a large following, according, yes. to, according to my co-host, Krista Recchio. <laughs> You're like the go-to person when people are really sick. So for people that don't know you, tell us a little bit about your clinical practice and about the two books You've, okay. Uh, well, I have a kind of an interesting history. The reason that I got into nutrition is because I have a rare genetic disorder that has no treatment and no cure. And this, the symptoms started for me when I was 10 years old, but no one knew what was going on until I was 37. Okay. So I started researching early because I was told to do all these allopathic things, have organs removed, take pills, things that I didn't feel were appropriate for me. So I kept researching and researching. What were your symptoms? I had, well, the first symptom that I had at 10 is I went to my mother and I said, nothing's moving in my body from here to here. And everything just felt stuck. A and constipation? I was, it was uh, more than that because it was as if nothing was even moving from my stomach. Okay. So I would eat food and it would almost feel like I was just filling up. And that's how it felt in my body. But no one understood that when I said it. So constipation was what every doctor thought it was. And they would send me home with fiber pills. And over the years, as more constipation pills came on, those would be offered to me. Eventually, a, a doctor found out I had a diseased gallbladder and said, you've got to get that out. That's what made me go back to nutrition. Now, I studied nutrition in college. So you were supposed to get your gallbladder removed. And I didn't want to do it. All right. And I was concerned because within two years, most people have all the symptoms back. It's, it's considered one of the most overperformed, unnecessary surgeries in the country. All right. And I knew a lot of people that would get them removed and still have all the same digestive pain. But because of the sort of shock of thinking about having an organ removed, I started digging deep into my nutrition background and I realized that I could heal my gallbladder if I just changed my diet. And I'm somebody who believes in science. I spend all my time at night. I'm, I'm usually up late because I'm researching. And it seemed way too simple at the time, but the principle of Occam's razor in science says that sometimes when everything else is equal, the simplest solution is best. So I went for it, and all of my symptoms started to go away. And that is part of why I ended up writing The Bone Broth Secret with my co-author, Louise Hay, because both of Hay us, House, right? Of Hay House, yeah, okay. Hay House Publishing. We both had healing experiences with bone broth, and we really wanted to share it with people. In our first book, Loving Yourself to Great Health, that we wrote with Alia Cadro, people, there was one recipe on bone broth. And Louise Hay's 89, her skin is beautiful, her hair is beautiful, she's healthy, that. she's strong. So everybody wanted to know what she was doing, and she would say bone broth, and then Hay House came to us and said, you got to write a book about it. Okay, but first, with yeah. your gallbladder. Yes. I mean, so you went on a, what, like an anti-inflammatory diet? Like I, no gluten, no soy, yes. lean protein, no good sugar. fats, no sugar. No dairy, no soy. I had only gluten-free grains that I was eating and a lot of vegetables. 80% of my plate was vegetables. I was eating animal protein as well, and symptoms started going away. Now, until I incorporated the bone broth, there were these still these like little irritations that would happen in my body, and I kept trying to figure out what they were. And then I got diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or EDS, which is considered a defective collagen disorder. It has no treatment and no cure, and it can be devastating and debilitating It for affects people. your gums as well, is that correct? It affects every tissue, every muscle. So right? if you're losing muscle tone, if your skin is getting wrinkly and you're, or it's losing its thickness, you're wondering why, your hair is falling out. It is what I would call the great supporter of the body. It's the most abundant protein in the body. It holds the body together like glue. And if you think about your life, if you're feeling like you could use a little more support, it's possible that thought is telling you that there may be some collagen issues in your body. Now, people will come to me sometimes and say, well, Ehlers-Danlos is rare, so I don't have that. Ehlers-Danlos is about 20 or 30 different symptoms that are very common. It includes rheumatoid and osteoarthritis, digestive issues, which can include candida, bacterial overgrowth. It's Is there any marker for it, like a blood test for it? There's genetic testing, okay. and, and that's that helped me confirm it. The only reason I was diagnosed was because my doctor had it too, and he knew what to look for. But I went and then got my genetics tested, and I have 95% of the genes for Ehlers-Danlos are either single or double mutations. So that's when I knew I had to get really serious so that I could stay healthy for the rest so of my life. So you're eating right. Yes. And then you heard about bone broth. Yes. Now, bone broth is interesting. In Chinese medicine, they tell us that like heals like. 
Bone broth is full of bioavailable collagen, and it's one of the only foods we have that has that unique characteristic. With bone broth, you're basically taking bones that would often be thrown in the trash, and it allows you to reduce your animal consumption by up to 85% because you're using the whole animal. You're taking cuts that are often overlooked, like oxtail and knuckles and feet and skin, and you're putting it into water, covering it up and simmering it for anywhere from four hours to maybe 36 or 48 Covered. hours. Covered? Covered. Okay. You can do this on your stove, you can do it in a crock pot, and you just let it go. And what you get when you strain out the broth is you've got this bioavailable collagen. Tell me about this. What do you mean you strain out the broth? Because I haven't done this. Okay. So, so you fill the, fill the crock pot or the stock pot up with bones. You cover it just so that the got water's it, yeah. covering the bones. You can throw vegetables in if you want and get a little more boost of nutrition. And then you let it go and simmer. Some people put in apple cider vinegar. Studies show us that's not necessary. But right. you can if you want. And what you do is you simmer it for four to... 48 hours, and at the end of that time, all of those bones, all the essential fatty acids have basically disintegrated into the water. Do they rise? Do they they just stay, the fat okay, rises, okay. and all of the minerals are find their way into the liquid. And so what happens is you, at the end of that time, you take a strainer, a fine mesh strainer, and over either bowls or jars, you strain out the bones and any vegetables mm -hmm. that you might have put in, and you keep the liquid. And you can, I like to put it in glass jars in the refrigerator. 24 hours, the fat rises to the top. You can use that for cooking if you want to. I remove the fat cap when I'm ready to eat the broth, and then you can use it as a flavorful base for soups, for grains, to cook eggs. You can use it for almost anything. And in the bone broth secret, Louise and I put it in everything. So the bone broth, okay, so what's in the bone broth? So it's, it's just... Okay, so it's bioavailable collagen. We've broken down the collagen. When you, the only food that has collagen is animal protein. It's the only food. So and if we need collagen in our body and we want to look young and we want to have great hair and great skin and it helps with weight loss, if we need collagen in our body, we have to consider eating, if not animal protein, at least the bone broth. We will then get, we have the bioavailable collagen, we have the um, vitamins and minerals that have come out of the meat and the bones and any mm -hmm. vegetables you might have put in. And you have a, a flavorful, like a, they call it liquid gold in the chef world. Because this is their secret. Could you add salt to it? You add, add sea salt. And you, I wait till the very end of cooking. I, I usually put spices in the last 30 minutes or 10 minutes of, of the cooking. Yeah. And then I add sea salt afterwards. And this means that when you're drinking that, you're getting the minerals from the sea salt, you're getting the minerals from the bones. It is a wonderful way to deliver minerals into your body. And, and, and so what's the dosage? You drink of bone a cup, broth, a cup it depends. three times a day? If you're already healthy, you could have a cup a day, a cup every other day, that's great. If you have a health goal, then you might want to have a little bit more. Arthritis, I have a client, Kathy, who had arthritis. I had her do two cups of bone broth, and then I had her do two scoops of collagen peptides. That is a type of collagen that's been processed, and you can buy it on Amazon. I like Vital Proteins. You can buy Perfect Supplements. Is another and this brand. is on your website, right? It's on what my website, okay. and you can buy them, um, and it's in the book, and you can buy those, and you can just put the scoops of collagen peptides in your smoothie, in your water. You can barely taste it, and those two together, within six months, she had an alleviation of symptoms. Within a year, she was completely symptom-free, and she had been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so but, but this bone broth, diet goes with the you know no gluten no soy no dairy that's what we did is for that, recipes you don't have to do it that way but that's ideal but for it's it to... ideal if you've got so so here's the thing many people come to me with digestive issues and the thing that bone broth does it's very unique is there are studies on gelatin way back into the 1600s. I, I went to a whole book on all the studies of gelatin when we were writing this. Everything's backed up with research. So there are studies that bone broth... That talk about gelatin. Gelatin's been studied more than bone broth because if you follow the money, gel gelatin can be used in supplements. Okay. So because of that, you know, and in the cosmetics industry, because everybody wants hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. and their lotions so that their skin looks great. It's already in the bone broth. So what you want to do is when you take in the bone broth, the gelatin does two very unique things. The first thing it does is it lines the small intestines like spackle. 
and it just spackles up any kind of holes. Empty stomach first thing in the morning? You can do it first thing in the morning. You can do it in the middle of the day. I usually with start- With food? Could you have it with food? You can have it with food or All you right. can have it as part of your food, like a soup or a stew, or we put it in bread recipes in, in there, and you know, gr okay. gluten-free bread I'm recipes. sold, I want bone broth. I know, it's delicious. Everybody in this room that could hear this wants bone it's broth. It's If you're ketogenic, but if you're losing, you want to lose weight and you're on a ketogenic diet, you, you can make a bulletproof bone broth instead of coffee if you want to, or in addition to coffee. So if you follow? the diet and the recipes, what will you feel? What will, what will start happening with the bone broth? When you spackle up that small intestine, that's where 90% of our digestion is happening. And if you have holes in your small intestine, leaky gut, then little particles of food start going into the body and an inflammatory response is created. Allergies, fire in the body, and you start having a bunch of symptoms. Food allergies, depression, it could be um, fatigue, it could be anxiety. So you could have a number of different symptoms that would tell you that you have leaky gut. Usually bloating and distension or some digestive issue is in there. You start drinking bone broth, you've got the gelatin closing up those holes and relieving the inflammation, because the other thing that the bone broth does is it relieves the body of inflammation. If you let that inflammation go too long and you're experiencing brain issues, memory issues, brain fog, et cetera, probably what happened is you had such a leaky gut that your brain is leaky. That means that the protective barrier around the blood-brain barrier, the protective barrier around the brain is leaky. And so things can get in there to irritate the so brain. So this will, this will thicken that mucosal lining. It, it, it gets rid of the inflammation, which then allows the brain to start healing, the inflammation in the blood-brain barrier to start to heal. So symptoms start to decline from there. I have a client who, uh, a client, Shelly, she had depression. She didn't have any sort of specific symptoms, but she had chronic fatigue and she had depression. She started taking just two cups of bone broth a day. She didn't do the collagen peptides and some B vitamins. And within, I would say with her, within eight months, she wasn't experiencing depression. I've also had a client who went, um, went off her bipolar drugs because she but wasn't But could you really tell bipolar. me this, but did you also put her on the diet that went with it? I did. Okay. I do put people so on the, the diet, So is it the diet or the bone broth? That's well, my question. Well, you've got two. And that's a fair question, it's a, right? It's a great question. Here's why bone broth is helpful. One is because... Now, it's the best way to get gelatin into your body to heal that small intestine. The second thing that it does, so one is it spackles up the small intestine. Second thing it does is it extracts more nutrients from your food. So studies show that when you have gelatin in your small intestine, when you're consuming gelatin, All right. it pulls more nutrients out of the food that you're eating. So imagine somebody that comes to you with symptoms. I'm stressed out all the time. I'm tired. You know, they may not have much more going on than that. Maybe they just come with fatigue and stress. You start giving them easily digestible nutrition. You start allowing them to extract more nutrition from their foods. I have a client who just did bone broth and nothing else and started to feel better. So sometimes that's all we need. So if you take somebody that's already on, let's say a gluten-free diet, no soy, no dairy, they're doing pretty well, they're yeah. sleeping right, they're taking their supplements, and you just add in bone broth, do they immediately feel better, their skin Most gets better? Most people feel better. Here's what men will tell me. I've had men clients, the thing they notice is that their fingernails, that's the first thing they'll notice because they're not as worried about you know how they're looking. So they, they say, oh, my fingernails are so strong and they're, I'm having to cut them more often. So we know that something is happening in the body. I had another client, Steve, who had an old football injury from college and it was just constantly there and he learned to live with it. He just started drinking it and within three months he called me and said, he had other issues that he was coming to me before, but he came to me and he said, I don't have a shoulder issue anymore. Do you think it's the bone broth? Bone broth is bone. So you say it's like spackled to the intestine, right? Yes. But are there any, is there any proof of that? Is there any There's science studies. that shows I mean, I that it's have... sticky to the walls of the intestine? Yes. There are studies that show that it lines the intestine like and protects it. this is bioavailable it. that yes. will... And really? it protects it from other stressors. So that's why I'm saying if you do nothing else, you're still going to help your body because it protects it from what it, what's called assaults to the body. So if you're putting other foods in there, now I'm not recommending that, but it will give you a little bit of a cushion if you have some bad habits. In uh, Eastern medicine, uh, have they been doing this? They've been, uh, yeah, they call it bone soup in China. They use this for everything. So 10,000 years they've been using this? It's been in every culture. And I'm just finding out about it today. All over the world. Yes, exactly. Every culture I go all over the world. You know, this is, I was telling Kristen, I think I told you a little off camera. This is the one thing I don't know anything about. Yeah. Or, or, or well, that's not the one we've thing. Got, we've got but it's the one soup. thing I've ignored. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we've got we've got soup on the on the shelf in the grocery store that is okay. full of chemicals. It has nothing to do with it. So most of us have forgotten that our ancestors, probably grandparents and back, were eating this food, and this is why they boiled their yeah. Uh, they, well, tell me about this, and we're out of time. Yeah. If 
what's the best, let's say at Whole Foods, where do you get pre-made bone broth? Good question. Or, and what's the best, easiest way to make it yourself? Okay, so if you wanna go get it, and this is great if you're really tired, because if you start getting pre-made, you're gonna start having energy to get into your kitchen. So okay. there is, go to the freezer section, do not buy the boxed stuff because right. that's not full of gelatin. When you make a really good gelled broth, it's almost like jello, like the kid's snack. Oh, really? It's, it's thick like that. So you want to go to your freezer section and look for bones uh, or a bone broth that's pasture or grass-fed. Organic is great. Hormone antibiotic-free. You want to look for that because you're eating the essence of the animal and you don't want to be eating factory-farmed conventional animals. So you, you get this. Yes. And then you strain it at home? You, you say well, it's like no. Gelatin. If you buy it pre-made, all you have to do is put it in a pan, heat it up. It's oh, so frozen. You heat it and then heat it... it up. You can add stuff. I love to add butter and coconut oil or MCT oil. Whiz it up in the blender. And I actually will throw vegetables in, butter and coconut oil. When I'm in a rush and I have to go somewhere, that's my meal. I'll take it in the car with me and I'll just sip it like a hot smoothie. It's fantastic. So bone broth, it, it, it's not just some hot new trend. It's been around for thousands of years. You have great yeah. skin, by the way. Thank you. And it's not, we didn't put a bunch of makeup on you at all, in fact, yeah. here. I'm sure you walked in with a little bit, but your skin's great. You Thank think you. You give bone broth some I do. of the credit? Yes, because when I changed my diet, people, I noticed that people would sort of go like this when they saw me for the first time and they, they would say, what are you doing? Somebody accused me of youthing. They said, you're youthing. And all I was doing was really just keeping bone broth as a part of my regular diet. Is that right? Well, thank you so much. And they could buy this book just about anywhere on Amazon, Amazon is the Barnes best way to go. Noble, bookstores, absolutely. All right, The Bone Broth Secret. Or thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, Randy. Pleasure. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you good health.